Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to organize your clips using keywords and favorites. There's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you one way and I hope you find it helpful. Now the first thing to notice is that I've got a library open. I've created an event and called it Downtown Clips and I've dragged and dropped my clips into it. I've also created an event called Movies and then added a project to that. I'm not going to go into the details of doing those things in this video. So the first thing to do is to take a look at the event that I have the clips in. And let's talk about how we might be able to organize these using keywords and then choosing favorites from selected clips. The first thing I'm going to do is with this event selected, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select new keyword collection. And what I'm going to type here is morning because what I want to do is I want to break this down into morning, midday, and evening shots. So I'm going to click on this event again, right click, new keyword collection. I'll type midday. And then again, right click, new keyword collection, and we'll call it evening. So now with those keyword collections created, let's select the event with all the clips and start looking at these. So this one I know is morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and drag it into morning. The next one is also morning. So we'll drop that in there. This is morning. This is midday. This is evening, this one's midday, and so you get the idea. I would go through the rest of these clips and I would drag and drop them into the appropriate collection to assign favorites to these. So what I mean by favorites is finding the ranges within each clip that I know that I'm going to want to use in this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on morning and that's going to show me the clips that I have available to pull favorites from. To create a favorite, I'm going to turn on skimming, typing an S on the keyboard or clicking this little icon here. And I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to skim through this. And I'm going to start here and I'm going to click with my left mouse button and then I'm going to drag to the right until I've got the range that I want and I'm going to let up. Next, I'm going to type an F on the keyboard to create a favorite and that's going to put a bar above it there for me. Now, continuing on in that clip, I'm going to click and drag again. I'm going to drag the range and I'm going to stop there. And again, I'm going to type an F to make a favorite. Going on to the next clip, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, this clip has already been selected, as you can see. So another way to do this would be to get the starting point and type an I on the keyboard to be our end point, and then drag to the right and have that be then an O on the out point and then an F to make it a favorite. So now let's click on midday. And once again, I'm going to drag across the range here of the clip. I'm going to type an I on the keyboard because the clip's been selected. Drag to here, an O, an F. Keep scanning across. I like this part here. So at this point, I can click and drag the range. Go to the end and again, type an F on the keyboard. Let's go to the evening shot and let's grab this one right here. We'll drag across and let up, type an F. And now we have selected ranges within the clips and set them as favorites. Now going back to the event downtown clips, 
if I look at this, I can see that I have favorites selected just by the fact that there is a leftward pointing triangle. If I click on that handle, it'll show me the keyword and that it's associated with this clip and that there are two favorites. Now I could rename these if I wanted, but in this case, I'm gonna leave them the way they are. Now, another thing we can do is instead of showing all clips, we can choose to show just the favorites. And that's gonna show us just the favorites that have been selected within the clips inside this event. So now with this clip selected, I'll grab the favorite and I'll come down and I will use the append the selected clip to the primary storyline or the selected storyline. I could also use the keyboard shortcut E. I'll click on that and it's gonna drop that clip right in there. Now let's go on to another one. Choose favorite, do the same thing here. This time I'm gonna use the keyboard and type an E and that's gonna append it. I'm going to select the timeline, do a shift Z to show the entire timeline. The first thing I'm gonna do is move the playhead to the beginning of the movie using a function left arrow, or I could have just dragged it there. And with this favorite selected, I'm gonna click on this little icon here, and it will insert that right into the beginning of the video. Now for the last example, I'm gonna insert it right here in this clip. So with this, Favorite selected, I'm gonna position the playhead here and I'm gonna click on the overwrite button or I could have pressed the D key on the keyboard and that's gonna insert it in there. And as you can see with the skimmer on, here's the beginning of that. There's the clip change and then there's the continuation of that. So there you have it. A simple and fast way to take clips, organize them using keywords and keyword collections, scanning those clips, choosing favorites, and a way to add those favorites to a movie that you're creating in a fast and easy way. This is Chris Hansen. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you find it helpful.